Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Marshall bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we are taking the RFZ out. Finally, I was trying to get like a little pole mount hooked up, but this little ghetto rig didn't work, so we're not going with that. Uh, the RFZ is changing the oil, if you guys can see down there. Spilt a little bit, but I'm changing the oil on it because I haven't changed it since last season. And after that, this bike should be ready to go. Uh, everything was working on it last night when I started it, so all the changes I made in the last video ended up working. So once we get that oil changed, we are ready to take the bike out now I haven't uploaded the video yet uh, asking about how to fix the throttle uh, because if you guys saw in the last video it got stuck like this snaps back instantly if you guys can see snaps back instantly now these this one over here for some strange reason it won't snap back so quick it kind of does but at first it kind of, st it's sticky a little bit. So I got to figure out what the heck the issue is with that. But I still wanted to bring a riding video for you guys. We have new GoPro mounts or angles. I finally got the GoPro working with this helmet here. It's kind of dark in here. Let me turn the light on. As if that helped at all. So basically here's the helmet set up. We have the new GoPro Hero 7 Black with the, the little microphone adapter, which was like 80 or 50 or $60 or something like that, which is ridiculous. But since I got it, I'm going to use it to my advantage. Got the mic hooked up to the helmet, got a USB cable running from the side of the helmet all the way down the side going up up here to the top and this is where I bought a power bank I'm gonna put the power bank up here so I can plug it in charge the GoPro and have the mic going at the same time so the GoPro is gonna be good we also have another GoPro that I'm gonna hook up to Donovan's helmet eventually we'll probably do it in the next video just because it's getting dark so I don't want to really do it right now uh, we're gonna try and get out there and ride as quick as we can but we also have one GoPro so one GoPro is gonna be on my helmet I'm thinking about doing a mount right here so it's facing me uh, not sure yet and then I have a GoPro down here so it's gonna be facing behind me which I'm just testing the waters with that one we'll see if I if I like it or if I want to keep it like that um, if I do like it of course keeping it there if not then I'll put it on my handlebar so it's facing me but we are gonna have one on my helmet one on Donovan so you can see his footage so you can see if he crashes or anything like that you guys will have it on camera or if he sees me crash you could actually see that on camera and then one more on my bike either the back of it or the top of it facing me I don't think I'll be able to do the, the pole mount I've tried so many different things it's just too wobbly too loose I don't want to drop anything break anything so kind of gave up on that so we're gonna have to just try to deal with what we have now so let me get the oil out of the car oh shoot look who pulled up if it isn't the man the myth the legend Donovan Scott the man that sold me the RFZ and bought the uh, piece moto off me so we're gonna swap this oil real quick make this as quick as we possibly can and then we're gonna go ride I do have 10w40 uh, four-stroke oil just because this is four-stroke uh, this is the oil I've always used I think I used something else last time it looks a little different but I believe this is the right oil let me know in the comments if I'm getting this wrong but I, I believe this is right so let me do this real quick which is easy if you guys don't know on this side over here where is it right here right by the kicker you'll see this little cap you got to take that cap off that's where you pour the oil into it How you doing, man? Good, good. Let me ask you something. What's up? Y'all by the great run. Y'all being too fast, too furious, right? All the cars come over. Right? <laughs> yeah. Who do you open the cars? He's a mechanic. He did some of it. Oh, where? What up? What up? Let me pick your name real quick, bro. Hey, y'all be safe. All right, man. All right, boys. Peace, 
kind of dusting me. Yeah, like I was saying, I don't know how the audio is going to be with this uh, setup we got going on, but the bike, the bike is really, really loud if you guys can hear it. <coughs> now, I just changed the oil, so I don't want to really dog the bike too much. It's a brand new carburetor, so we're going to have to break it in. So we're not going to dog the bike too much today, guys. We just wanted to test ride it if the bike works, make sure it doesn't fall apart on us, and stuff like that. bike idles so the bike's idling so once it gets warmed up the bike will idle <coughs> I don't have a kickstand for it though all right I'm gonna try the clutch needs to be adjusted on this it's very like a low point like I can't even one finger it because it's this isn't even pushing down the whole clutch I got to pull the whole thing back so if I'm trying to dump the clutch into a wheelie, this it doesn't even count as holding the clutch in. I have to pull it back even further for the clutch to be in. So I got to dump it like this. Yeah. I usually dump it like this. Yeah, yeah, All right. So if 
first, let's try first gear. Let's just try like, see, I can feel it moving it. First gear, of course, pops. First gear always popped on these bikes. But you guys know me, I don't like doing first gear wheelies. So let's try to get it into second gear. And we're not gonna use the clutch just because the clutch is a little weird on this bike right now. So it pops it. Oh yeah, it goes up. And I feel the grip in the seat. The seat has a lot of grip to it. Alright, so now we just gotta get it up a little bit. I'm scared to bring it Whew! too far back like that. I completely took my feet off the pegs. I didn't even use the brake at all. I don't know if it's me not pulling it up because I'm tired already or if the bike is giving out. All right, so, all right, the power's there. Distance. From a distance, it's all right. Just wanted to get one little quick video. Today's not really about wheeling the RFZ. It's just making sure that the bike works. <coughs> Last season when we were riding, let me tell him he's good. You're good? Yeah. Last season when we were riding the RFZ, the bike had a few problems with it, so we weren't able to, uh... oh shoot, we're low. How low can you go? So last season the bike wouldn't even start towards the end of the season. It was having so many issues and that's what made us stop riding this bike. So this season, so this season we got the bike working early on in the season. Now we just got to tweak it so it's working right. Um, so I learned to wheelie this bike you gotta make sure that the power is there in second. So like first, gas it and you'll feel it. Oh man. <coughs> and actually, that's not true because this bike's been beaten so it's used. If you guys buy this bike brand new, as long as you swap out the carburetor, you'll be good, I promise. Um, but this bike needs a little bit of tweaking before it's actually ready. And I don't know why on this bike I'm actually scared to go too far back. I'm trying to do a steady, instead of to hold my wheelie up, I'm trying to steady wheelie. Woo, see I was going back and I got scared. It's all about not being a pussy, honestly. Okay, okay. I don't know. This bike's balance point's a little bit different than other. Every bike has a different balance point. So I gotta just practice that. Learn this bike's balance point. Ugh, I'm so tired. I can't even pull the bike up no more right now. I'm gonna have to take a break. Right here, you guys wanted to see these videos circle him of us riding the RFZ and here you guys have it wonder how low we can get okay I'm tired I'm scared take a break for a second one more wheelie real quick take a little intermission break oh shoot let's try first gear pop-up wheelie all right let's dump the clutch oh it's scary all right we'll take a break for a second 
so we can admire the bike. Help Donovan out with the wheelies. Fuck, I forgot I don't have a kickstand on it. Whew. Pop some wheelies. Too scared? Why? I'm not scared. I just, I just feel like I don't know. Not yet? You just gotta dump the clutch and go. All right, let's go ride. You wanna just go down that way and ride? Hit the trails? All right, bet, I'll follow you. Huh? I'll follow you. Oh, all right, follow me. All right, so we're just gonna ride. The only reason I didn't wanna ride is because of the audio. I know the wind is bad, so I hope it's not too bad for you guys. 